Hello, my name is Annick Vincent. I'm an adult psychiatrist and I work in Quebec City in Canada. I do assess and treat adults with ADHD since many years. One thing that I learned through the process is that when you do diagnose adults with ADHD, the next step for treatment is knowledge. Knowledge about what is ADHD, knowledge about how to better cope with your ADHD, knowledge about what is medication, what's their side effects and uh, how to adjust it and what's the place for medication, and also knowledge about local resources that can help you go through that process. When I do the psychoeducation with adults who have ADHD, I try if possible to have someone who knows them and lives with them to also have access to the same information. Uh, it is important that they do have access to written information, good websites, um, maybe local support groups so they can have more information when they need to. But there are, there are some tips that I want to share with you about what we should talk about when we do the psychoeducation. First step is ADHD is a real disorder. It's a neurobiological disorder that starts very, very early in your life and if you're an adult and you still have the uh, symptoms, it will be important also that you know how to understand your symptoms, understand how your brain is working and how to get around the symptoms and cope about what, what the impairment is. We don't know the exact causes of ADHD. One thing that we do know is that genetics are involved in many cases. So if you're an adult with ADHD, with a kid with ADHD, having both ADHD will make it more difficult. It is best if the parent with ADHD knows how to better cope with his ADHD so he can help his kid the best he can. Neuroimaging studies tells us that someone who has ADHD is having difficulty to recruit the right circuits when they do need to do a task. Um, what we do know is that, let's say you have to uh, have a sustained attention. While you're doing that task, there's a certain part of your brain that will activate to help you do that task. If you do have ADHD, you will have difficulty to activate those parts of your brain and you will activate other parts of the brain. One thing that is very interesting that we now know is that if you're taking a medication for your ADHD and that medication is working, we can see the difference in the way the pathways are activated. So in a way, the medication reverses that effect. It almost normalizes um, the way the brain is functioning. So it's very important if you prescribe any medication for ADHD that you make sure that the medication is taking at a time where the impairment associated with ADHD are there. So if you have impairment in the morning and in the evening, it will be also important to cover those periods with medication and with the adaptive tips that it is also important to um, put into place. When I try to explain how medication is working in a brain of someone who has ADHD, I often use the analogy of eyeglasses, you know, like medication are eyeglasses for the brain. It helps you better focus, but it won't teach you how to learn, how to read. So it's very important that even if you wear your eyeglasses for the brain, that you know the, the tips on how to get around your ADHD, how to better cope with the fact that you have difficulty to sustain attention, that you're highly distractible, that you have difficulty to sit still. So medication is in, an important part of the treatment, but pills don't build skills. If you have ADHD, it's important that you understand that your brain is not functioning the same way as others. It would be like if you're running a marathon, but you're a sprinter. So you will need to learn how to run your marathon. You will sprint, stop, take a pause, and then sprint again. You will have to wear your good shoes while running, 
and you will have to remember to take those shoes when you go running. And the shoes could be, you know, your medication or the tips that you found that are important to better cope with your ADHD. There are many tips like that that you can give to your patients. It's very important that once a diagnosis is made, that you help them better understand what is ADHD and how to get how they can get help with their ADHD. And one thing very important, as a clinician, it is important that you know that treating ADHD can be addictive because you will have a lot of patients that will get better and will go back to your office and say, you know what, thank you doctor, you helped me. And that is addictive for anyone. Thank you.